So that's what, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. It's playing out. Do you hear that? That's what you're saying. It's playing out. All right. Now, um, there's a, an article, actually a video, Fox News. Listen to this. Hannity asked who's really in charge. This is recent. This is just two days ago. All right. Who's really in charge? After report on Kamala Harris' foreign policy responsibilities. This is amazing. Listen to the video. For the Democrats, one if you're a Republican. And according to a new shocking political report, Vice President Harris is quickly being prepped to take the foreign policy reins from the Biden administration. Biden is now reportedly encouraging his vice president to engage directly with world leaders. That would be his job. And by the way, even develop her own rapport with U.S. allies. Harris has also been meeting weekly with Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. So the question tonight is why? If Joe Biden is not up to the task, well, we know that he rarely appears in public. We know that he takes very few questions. We know he hasn't even scheduled a joint session of Congress for the State of the Union address. This week, he struggled mightily to read off a cheat sheet. It was frankly embarrassing and hard to watch. And we could all see with our own eyes that Joe is frail, he is weak, and yes, he's struggling cognitively. Even a few dozen Democrats now are trying to take away the nuclear codes from Joe Biden so it's not in the hands of just him, one person. They never even tried that with Trump. And as vice president now holding one-on-one -on -one calls with other world leaders, so what's really going on here? Who's in charge? All right. By Who is in charge? I told you already. So the question is already being asked. Now, you know, this is so important. Someone sent me an important video, and I want you to listen to this. It's a, a prophecy given by William Branham. Now, Branham was an extraordinary minister of the gospel many years ago in the 60s. An amazing minister of the gospel, a prophet. Now, listen to a prophecy that, that he gave about the United States. And listen and think about the things you just heard, what you just saw and heard. Listen to this. Now, I predicted and said I saw a great woman stand up, beautiful looking, dressed in real highly royal like purple, dressed in real highly royal like purple, dressed in real highly royal like purple. And I got little princes down here. She was a great ruler in the United States, perhaps the Catholic Church. A woman, some woman, I don't know it'll be the Catholic Church. I don't know, I can't say the only thing I seen, I seen the woman, that was all. But this is a woman's nation. This nation is number 13 in prophecy. She's got 13 stripes, 13 stars. She started with 13 colonies, 13, 13, everything's 13. Appears in the 13th chapter of Revelation, even. She's 13, and she's a woman nation. Not the law. There'll be a woman lose. She'll either be president, vice president, or it'll be the Catholic Church as a woman. I've seen her, a great woman. A nation bowed to her. It'll be one before the end time. These three curtains, I say this in the name of the Lord, don't you forget it. There's an iron curtain, a bamboo curtain, and a purple curtain. Watch that purple curtain. Amen. Amen. Keep your eye on that. Amen. Oh, my. How we see now the Antichrist beginning to unfold itself, taking a hold in the nation. Thus saith the Lord. Write it down and find out, you young people. Interesting. Did you hear what he said? He described the lady that will become, he said, she would either be president or vice president. All right? And described her in purple. Now, at the inauguration, Kamala Harris wore purple. How could William Branham in the 60s help her prepare to wear purple on that day? 
And he says, this will happen before the end time. Then he said to the young people, watch and see. He said, if it doesn't happen, then I'm a false prophet. He said to the young people, because he knew it will happen in their days. They're the ones who will see it. And that's exactly what has happened. And then he says, we're seeing the Antichrist. Now, he's not calling Kamala Harris the Antichrist. No, he's talking about the work of the Antichrist in preparation at that period. And that this is certainly a major sign. A major sign of the last days in association with the work of the Antichrist. Don't say you didn't hear it. You just heard it. This is so important. 